Hi, this is Adam with Spontan Machine Shop, and today we're going to part for the planer. Now, this is one of the shafts that makes the thing go up and down. And you can see, clearly see, got a bit of a bend to it. Well, more than a little bend. It's not really showing up that well, but it's probably an inch or two, probably about an inch and a half there. This is why that one leg or that one riser bar was hard to get off. So we're going to straighten it. First thing we're going to do, obviously, is clean it. And then I think we're going to put this in the small press because most of the bend is right there, one spot. Yeah, it's like right get down here this this table's not flat by any means got that little hump there go down this way that looks nice and flat that goes up that goes nice and flat and that goes up so it shouldn't take much hopefully i'm not gonna heat it i'm gonna cold bend it so let me get this cleaned up and we'll get it over to the i think we'll use the c press for this and let's see what we can do okay so I got it cleaned up. And obviously someone was trying to restore this machine before. So we're coming across some of their issues. But as you can see, the threads are already, the bend's like right here. The threads up here are kind of boogered up. Which is odd because that's super high. I mean, that's almost maximum lift. So that's a weird place for them to get boogered up a bit. So we're going to give this a go here. Now. When I use the press to press threaded parts, I always put lead blocks underneath it. I know what some people are saying, oh no, he's touching lead. Lead is a handy thing to have around the shop. The reason, and that's very heavy. The reason I use it when I push threaded parts is it greatly greatly aids in preventing the damaging of other threads i mean these are acme threads they're hard to damage anyway they're not really you know they're flat on top but you know for a typical threaded part where it has a sharper edge it'll bite in the here and it will you know this will give give some there's some protection there so in the C face frame here, we're going to put the extendo on there. So it's part of the screws. And it's bottom cap and screws. Again, I love this press. Got it from my uncle. Harbor Freight and I think Tractor Supply used to sell them let's put our push piece down in there like so this piece maybe probably just just the right height here I got some thinner lead blocks I can get to Yeah, that's going to be a bit too high. So let me swap out these blocks and I'll bring you back. Okay. Some thinner lead pieces. These pair of pieces I actually cast for this reason. <laughs> I got them on there. Reach across it for a second. Tighten this. Scoot it back a bit. Let's do. Let me see if I can lower you down here. For the non stop pressing action. Okay, let's go a little lower. That's probably 
as much as I would be able to have you see that you being in the way. Okay, you can see the rise there. So I'm gonna go right in the middle there. Sorry, that handle's in your way. Okay, as you see, let's zoom you in if I can. Straightening. Straightening. I'm gonna go just a little bit past because I don't know how hard or soft that rod is. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go across. Try not to get in your way. Come off it a bit. Let's see. That got I got about half of it out. Okay, there's the high spot. Preload it here. Thank you, Poos. Get down here. Go just a hair more. Okay. Sorry for getting you around there. Let me get a straight edge and I'll bring you back and see how much more we have to do. Okay, I only have to do like two more passes. As you can see, that light's kind of causing an optical illusion down there. There you go, that kind of takes it away. Straight. The old zoom in out, Scotia here. Nice touching it everywhere. We go 90 degrees. There we go. That came out very well. The, uh, the very soft. Um, I'm surprised as soft as it is, there's not more wear on these teeth. That's the part where it's been had. But didn't take much at all. I do not like to use heat, especially when straightening threaded shafts because they're a very high very very high likelihood of distorting a couple teeth in here so yeah get yourself some lead well that's what i use and of course wash your hands don't put them in your mouth after you touch it very cool so that's one more part for the planer ready to go I've got all the parts cleaned except for the base. I'm going to go ahead and finish wire wheeling it and everything before I uh, start reassembly. So that project is still in motion, as you see. A little bit at it every day. Then where the previous person put all these, once I wire wheeled it. See, someone's had, 
And it's had a pipe wrench on her. Bevel gear looks good, though. That's always encouraging. <laughs> okay. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.